Hey y'all, thanks for clicking another video of ours. Well this time of year, it's December in North Carolina. We actually got a warm front today, but uh, it's December and we're using these things, all right? Usually it should be some kind of hunting going on. Well, let me show you what I'm using these things for as we get into this video. And we'll come back here and I'll show you why I'm in my backyard with some waders and a ladder, all right? So let's roll. It should be deer hunting. It's deer season, all right? It's hunting season. But we're here in coastal North Carolina, and we're going fishing. We're going to try for some trout, some speckled trout, and uh, maybe some other inshore fish. Maybe there's some drum or some flounder creeping around these uh, waterways. And that's what I'm going to film today, a little trout fishing. What we're doing is trying uh, some different grubs. All right, here's a lead head, jig head, red, all right, eighth of an ounce. And we're just going to try. All right, I got everything. I got the gulps. All right, I got the... I got the... I don't know, some cheap brand uh, Big Bites shrimp there. I got some power bait mullet looking things. We got some more gulps, all right? And uh, I got some Z-Man lures. I got some generic just grubs, green and white grubs. And we're gonna go around here and, and try the back waterways around the intercoastal waterway of North Carolina and try for speckled trout. All right, so thanks for joining us and I'm gonna go try to catch a fish. Let's see what happens. Let's roll. Okay. I got a little Berkeley gulp shrimp here, and I'm just gonna thread it on the jig head. Like so. And thread it all the way up. Let's do it, let's roll. Hitting down here in the main waterway. And little guy got another one. All right, you're the lucky guy for today. What color are we using there? All right, kind of a brown. Well, you don't, I can't see now, buddy. Brown with the green tail. Show me your trout, let's see him. All right. Alright, good deal. So you can see our setup here is just a basic, uh, you know, six to eight, six to ten pound test. Standard, uh, same thing you would use for like some bass fishing or something. Alright, good deal, man. Oh, hold up, we got another one over here? Oh man, I'm not even paying attention. You're over here catching. How many you got now? All right, we got number, what do you got now, four? Well, get him out of the mud. Let me show you what they're throwing here. Oh, Z-Man. All right, this brown body with a chartreuse tail. All right, and that's the one he's been catching them on all right there. All right, throw him back. Good job. Keep your rod up. Hey. It's the same size. Alright. Yeah, that color is working. Let's see. Alright, good. Good job. Alright, man. I'm just gonna film the kids. Maybe I need to change my lure. Show me how to catch one. Okay. What are you doing? Just you just dragging it along the bottom, kind of popping it, little hops. And they've been hitting it, huh? No, folks, it's actually about like high 60s right now. It's 9:30 in the morning, first day of December, and it's warm. Oh, look at that! Look at that! The action shot. Got him. All right, there you go. All right, that's how you do it. Speckled trout. We just need them to be about twice as big. Okay, y'all, here's the deal. Let me show you what we're doing. Right where we're standing, about three feet in front of me, that's where it drops off, okay? And what we've noticed is most of our bites have all been within about, I don't know, 10 feet of that drop off, right? So it's just like any other fishing. You're looking for drop offs, you're looking for structure. The current's moving from right to left. And we're just kind of casting upstream and letting it come back and working it up that drop off. 
and we're also casting it parallel with the drop-off. So I'm casting straight to the left, straight to the right, and we've noticed we're catching, getting a lot more bites now when we just work the, that drop-off, and we're working it right back to us. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll get lucky and catch a fish. So I just kind of cast it straight, straight to the right, down the river, okay? I'm just basically creeping it on the bottom, right? Just keeping it with the current, going slow. Just bringing it right down the drop off. I'll pop it every once in a while. It's nice and slow, nice and easy. And I'll bring it right back to me. All right, so this time, I'm gonna try the other way. Okay, and now I'm going with the current. Now I'm bringing the lure back up against the current. And we've caught them doing both sides. So the trout are here, they're biting. So when they're biting like this, it's actually fun because you can try different lures, try different stuff, but it seems like the lure that my kids are using is the, uh, the lure du jour. It was a, it's a brown swimming uh, minnow looking thing made by Z-Man with the chartreuse tail. And I'm trying a different company now with it's a pink one with the chartreuse tail. And so far I've got one. I've broke off one mirror lure and I've caught one trout. So the kids are wearing me out today. I'm just bringing it down the current, working that drop off. And that's what we're doing today. That's how we're catching them. All right, the boys are catching them. So, Mr. Z-Man Lures, your lures are wearing them out today. The Z-Man, catching them. All right. All right, folks, and this is what we're doing. You just kind of reel it slow. You drag the bottom, pop it every once in a while. The fish are actually pretty active today, so... Little eight pound test outfit, seven foot rod. Is that one a keeper? Oh, that one's definitely bigger. All right. Let's see him. That's definitely a bigger one. I think he's right on the borderline, though. Oh, yeah, that's a that one. Yeah, he's definitely bigger, though. Bigger than your other ones. Good job. What do you think? You think he's a keeper? No. You sure? Get him back in the water. All right, y'all. I didn't get the action shot of me hooking them. All right, but let me just show you what we got going on here. Nice little speckled trout, okay? You see what they look like, those of you who are not familiar with them. And uh, you can see my lure here is a pink guy with the chartreuse tail. And I'm using a red quarter ounce uh, jig head. The boys are using an eighth ounce jig head. You can see these little fangs they got right there in the front of their mouth. And this is what we're catching. All right, speckled trout. Throw this guy back in the water. Go catch some more. Okay, so that's why we're using these waders, all right? We're out there trout fishing here in December in North Carolina. Now, here's the problem. I was out fishing yesterday, and all of a sudden, I walked in a little too deep, and I felt water seeping in. I'm like, what in the world? I got these nice waders. What's going on? I got water coming in my leg. So let me show you what we do here. Very scientific way of checking how you got water coming in your waders, all right? Gonna hang them up high here like this. I'm gonna take a hose like that. You take the hose, stick it in the waders or your boots if you have leaky boots, all right? And I felt it on my right leg here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start filling up this right leg with water. Oh, look, we got some water coming out here. Where's it coming out from? Okay, okay, you can see I got a little seat right here, right where the boot meets the, the waiter right there. So I know I gotta do a little patch job right there. Okay, it's just kind of seeping out right there. All right, so I'm gonna keep filling up these waiters and keep making these videos. Keep checking for holes in my waiters and checking for holes in my videos, all right? But thanks for clicking another video. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of speckled trout fishing. I'm going to keep filling up these waders and uh, make sure I don't have any more holes before I head back out there, all right? So thanks for clicking our videos. We'll keep making them. Hopefully you'll keep watching them, all right?
I'm gonna roll on out of here in some wet waders.